Sherry Papini is set to be sentenced tomorrow at the federal courthouse in Sacramento. She pleaded guilty to faking her own abduction, a now infamous case that cost taxpayers hundreds of thousands of dollars. Her defense team is arguing for almost no jail time. ABC 10's Monica Coleman has how we got here. Monday, Sherry Papini will discover her fate in front of a judge. The 39-year-old mother pleaded guilty to faking her own kidnapping. But how did we get here? Well, it all started six years ago. Sherry Papini was reported missing by her husband, Keith, on November 2nd, 2016. Thanksgiving morning that year, Papini was found and reunited with her husband. And her poor face I got like nauseated just looking at her. The bruises were just intense, the bumps from, you know, being hit and kicked and whatever else. In August 2020, Papini is interviewed by a federal agent and a Shasta County Sheriff's detective, blaming two Hispanic women for allegedly kidnapping her. However, according to a criminal complaint against Papini, this was false. Papini was staying with an ex-boyfriend and inflicted harm on herself to back up her false statements. Our local uh, Latino community sort of reacted um, quietly and uh, they sort of created their own mechanism for coping with it, but also staying safe. They wouldn't travel in pairs. On March 3rd, 2022, Papini was arrested on charges of lying to federal agents about being kidnapped and defrauding the state's victim compensation board of $30,000. What angered me most about this is the outcome, is that there is a tremendous amount of resources wasted because of one person's selfishness. Back in April, Papini pleading guilty to lying to federal agents and mail fraud, avoiding a jury trial. Life is very complicated, and all we can do at the end of the day uh, is the right thing, and it is never too late to do the right thing. So uh, that's what we're doing. Just days before Papini is set to be sentenced for her crime in court, her legal team asking for grace. Papini's attorney releasing a memo requesting the 39-year-old only spend one month behind bars and the rest under house arrest, calling Papini unschooled and unskilled in honest communication and lost her way early on. Federal prosecutors asking for an eight-month prison sentence, saying her hoax was deliberate, well-planned, and sophisticated. Our Monica Coleman reporting. Papini sentencing is set for 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. We'll have the latest updates on this story right here on ABC 10 and at abc10.com.